Hey everybody, Chris Farad here, welcome back. Uh, last episode, a lot of actually really cool things happened. Uh, we fought the boss, we got- we actually made boss weapons. Or one weapon and one ring. And let me actually just go to the ring first. So, we've got two rings equipped right now, which are protecting the souls that we're carrying. Because we're trying to save for the- the key from the old lady at Firelink. And then we got this, Pontus Left Eye, which recovers HP with successive attacks. And so... I'm thinking this is like a Bloodborne kind of thing, where... Oh, it's actually... Oh, no, it's not that heavy. Um, I think it's like Bloodborne, where if we get hit, then we can recover it um, mid-fight. But then our weapon actually has something really cool, where defeating foes restores HP. So, this is actually fantastic, I think, because now we can rely less on our... Uh, Estus flasks and more on these things for sustainability. Uh, I want to switch these out to something maybe a bit lower uh, We need to switch something because we're a bit over the 70 threshold and I'm not sure if that's the greatest idea these things carry just like the tiniest bit of weight But it has put us over unfortunately um, We're definitely not gonna switch our weapons out. Can we afford to go lower here? Yeah, I think we can. Let's go to the Master's Gloves, and we're good to go. Now, I actually think I know where to go for the key that we bought, and as a refresher, it's this one, the Grave Key. So, key to the barred door leading from the sewer, and I was kind of thinking, like, oh, maybe it's where we fought the boss, I went back there, that's not there, and I think I actually know where it is. We did encounter an actual sewer at one point, but there was, like, a big, like, cloud or something, and we just left. Um, but if I'm not mistaken, I think that's the sewer that it's, that it's probably referencing. Now this weapon, it does, it does have mostly like jab attacks, but we can combine it. Is it with a roll, maybe? Let's see. Yeah, we can attack from above if we roll. So it's good, and actually it keeps enemies at bay. I think this is a great weapon. It's fun. Plus the, the special stance is just a one hit, like, attack that does more damage, so it, it's really easy to... to utilize. He says as he gets killed. So let's see if we can... Oh no, we gotta be quick. So we're gonna get the HP from killing an enemy, that's fine. But we'll have to get hit to test the other one. And I'm not just gonna randomly do it, we'll just try and catch it in the moment. Okay, let's move. So we're gonna go across the bridge, because we've explored a lot of the area forward, and that led us to the boss, but then that's like, that's about it. Um, down there I think just leads around. Am I mistaken? No, I think it just leads around. Oh, hello. Got a welcoming party. That's that's fantastic. Jesus. I don't know why that's giving me trouble all of a sudden. Whoa! See, in numbers, they're all terrifying. Okay. This is ridiculous. Come here. You made a big mistake. It's funny how, like, these little guys, they can give you, like, just a hell of a time. At least for me, sometimes I, like, you get, um,. Like, you can't be on all the time. And so these little guys, they just come in and they start wrecking you, and you're like, okay, great. Things are going well. They're not. That's just what you tell yourself. It's a lie. No. It's fucking rakes. Jeez. I'm not actually able to tell. Yeah, maybe I should use one of these. These things seem to be awesome. Oh, there's strength. Why? Why not? I can't even use the rake. <laughs> uh, these guys... 
they do work. But I'm not able to tell if we're regening health once we're injured. Oh. That'll do. We definitely get the HP back once we, er, not back. We get HP after we kill. I just can't tell if the ring recovers HP with successive attacks. Oops. So... I think we just have to constantly be hitting it. Maybe it only triggers on like the second and third. That could be. You know what we'll do here is let's take out our bow. Oh, we don't even have our arrows in. Shocking. Nothing they can do. I'm okay with this. We need to get up to 20,000 souls. Oh, he's still chucking, though. If we... Okay, we can still aim while doing this. I don't think we're getting any benefit there. From the stance. I think maybe it only works well if we lock on. Uh, we were doing a little bit more. Let's try it. We're getting the noise. Yeah, I think we are getting a little bit more damage. Okay, problem solved. As far as I can tell though, there's gotta be a way up there. I just can't figure out what that way is at the moment. Oh wait, we've not gone over here. Fire clutch ring. Oh, I feel bad. Let's just put him out of his misery. Okay, maybe. Okay, what is the fire clutch? Oh, Jesus. Yeah, let's take this guy down. I'm worried about these exploding barrels, but it's fine. hope this is the right area that we're going to. If we come down here, that's an area that we haven't really explored off to that distance, and then right over there, that's exactly what I was thinking of. So, let's head down there. Is this... Yeah, this is 100% the spot. This is the sewer. I'm hoping it's the sewer. Yeah, come on, ratty tat tats. Oh, great. Even these guys are assholes today. So the roll, like, the attack rate after the roll is actually pretty good. It's pretty quick. And it hits them from above, so there's not a lot that they can do about it. Now, okay, we have a gate there. I'm going to assume that that's it, but should we test? Ooh. Ooh, what is that? More rats. Yeah. 
Yes. Okay, cool. Now, I do want to... I just want to test this and see. Whoa! Okay. Blood bite ring. Okay, so give us a chance to check these two rings that we just found. Uh, blood bite increases bleed resistance, and this one increases fire attack, but compromises damage absorption. S increases fire attack. Does that apply? I don't think it's going to apply fire to our weapon. I think it would only benefit us if we're using a weapon infused with fire, right? Let's let's use the bleed resistance. that we're currently experiencing. We're gonna head down there, I just wanna see. Oh. We could have checked this out the whole time. We've got a ladder that goes up here. Oh, I thought this was gonna be poison. Okay, let's see where this ladder leads. We open that door, which we're gonna check out. This is what, this is what I freaking love about Dark Souls. Like, I love this stuff. And where does this lead us now? Oh! That's the shortcut to getting to that uh, bonfire. Okay, cool. Let's rest here for a second. Then we'll go back in. I imagine that rat comes back. That's fine. We'll check up here before we go down. And then we can go right through that gate that we opened. Might even just go for it. Yeah, we'll just leave him be. Poor rat. Hello. Hello. Where the frick is this? What's killing him in here? A loin... <laughs> Great. Really need that loincloth. Actually, with the way that... Oh, where is it? There it is. Look at it. The deprived only managed to rummage just enough cloth to protect their vital parts. Parts. Totally had a lisp there. And what's this now? Pray to Statue of Velka. Request absolution? You have not sinned. Hey! That's a good sign. I guess. You have not sinned. Okay. So if we sin, whatever that means, we can come there for... Absolution? But where the hell does this take us now? Red Hilted Halberd? Strength. Assume an unfaltering stance of prayer to temporarily boost poise. Um, this scythe is kind of interesting too, but it's fallen it's fallen off the, the wayside now that we have this upgraded, like, boss weapon. Okay, this is like, there's a lot going on down here. Which is good, because I was hoping it wasn't just the shortcut. Whoa. Whoa. What the hell is that? It's cool we can kill them before they come back. Oh shit. Oh shit. And actually, we can trigger that without even switching to two-handed. Which is kind of cool. Souls, that's good. Work towards our key. Our key savings. This could be- this could end poorly. Oh, they do it from behind us, too? Whoa! That was great. Totally nailed it. I 
I haven't really found a good enemy where you should be using our uh, coins on. I'm still thinking about it actively. It's just... We haven't really fought anything that's been like... Oh, that might drop something great. Whoa. Ooh, a little lizard. Chunky lady. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I think he's gonna get away. He's gone. Shit. A shard, I'll take it. Whoa! That was just pure luck that he didn't land on us. Back, back. He's pissed. Man down. Yeah, that attack's really good, actually. And I love that we don't even have to switch to two-handed to use it. You just fire it off and it works. Okay, so where are we? There's the bridge that we crossed. Oh, I think, okay. It's too bad we didn't get that lizard. If we went, yeah. If we went to the bonfire, we could probably reset it. Oh, I thought that that would just kill her. Instead. We got wrecked. Oh, these bitches. Come on! Oh, okay. Can we... Shoot this down? Yes, we can. Blessed red and white shield plus one. Hello. Is that this bad boy? It is. It's plus one, but... I mean, it's nice and everything, uh, but the physical damage isn't as high, and right now I think that that's essential. Relatively high magic absorption, sure. Uh, specifically magic. Okay, it's cool. It's an increase. It's like a... It's an improved shield. I'll never say no. We're up to 10,000 souls. Ambush ahead. Oh, yeah. From where? Oh, I see. Coming out of everywhere. Whoa! Shit. Okay, that could actually, that has potential to go very wrong there. A Saint's Talisman, this is new. What the hell? Okay, th oh, this is for using the miracles, that's right. Ivory talismans are given only to women clerics, and faith greatly affects their effectiveness. This is a certain frailty to this talisman, which undermines the steadfastness granted by its skill. Temporary increased poise while casting miracles, preventing enemy attacks from interrupting prayer. Works well equipped in the other hand. Interesting. Given only to women clerics, and faith greatly affects their effectiveness. I wonder if that means, like... I wonder if that means that you can't use it at, like, if you have a male character. I don't think so. I think if they're just given to them, we found it, whatever, so it's fine. But we don't have our, uh, faith high enough to use anything like that. What is that noise? Oh, God. Okay, we found a few shortcuts here in these sewers. Who's this? Oh, who is that? Someone there. 
Anyone? It is. It is I. Is she oh, blind? Please. She's blind. Whoever you are, touch me. The dark surrounds me, nibbles at my flesh. Little creatures, they never stop biting. So please, hold out your hand and touch me. Okay. Ah, oh, yes, there you are. So close, indeed. And I am not entirely alone just yet. Praise the merciful gods above. We got a prayer, okay. Oh, forgive me. I am Irina of Karim. I came to this land so that I might be a firekeeper. Your touch has freed me from the darkness. You are a champion, then. I am weak and unfit to tend the flames. But if it would not trouble you, might I enter into your service? Absolutely. Instead? Do it. Oh, thank you, sweet champion. That's awesome. I love when we I find these guys. I take my vows. I, Irina of Karim, solemnly swear to serve you. Oh, so cool. Okay. Uh, that's awesome. Now where are we? Oh, shit. Who's- what? Who's this? Hmm. Another one of those unkindled, are you? Oh, I love his voice. All you faceless undead. Behaving as if you deserve respect. Oh, door. Now you've gone and rescued the wench. How very quaint. Pitying creatures that are beyond help. <laughs> yeah, very well. I'm sick of looking after her at any rate. I'm Egon. Egon. A knight of Karim. I am allied to you for as long as you assure the girl's safety. Oh, cool. And only for that long. So he's sick of looking at her, but as long as she's alive, he's my ally. And then, maybe not. <laughs> What's the matter? My terms are very simple. I am allied to you for as long as you assure the girl's safety. And only for that long. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's really interesting to see how he goes. No friendship ahead. Yeah, potentially. We're definitely gonna have some action here. Uh, I wanna see where this leads, though. Like, we've got one of the heavy guys. Oh, it's the other side of the, uh, the sewer. Whoa. Oh, I didn't know they ever switched. That's cool. Okay, so this is actually great. Uh, we'll be able to take a relatively quick shortcut. Oh, that is some bullshit. We had never seen the previous one do that. Back, back. I hate that that doesn't stagger them, though. At least, maybe it does some, but doesn't for these big guys. And I can't seem to backstab them, either. Eat shit! Okay, so, what I want to do is, I want to check out this area, because we've never been over here. Then we're going to go talk to Irina at Firelink, and then we'll just come back, and that's probably either a brand new area, or it's a boss. Um, oh yeah. What are you guys doing back here? Oh, 
I see exactly what you're doing. Got some skulls. But other than that, that's pretty much all there is on this side. But we could have accessed and found that guy sitting outside there, but that gate would have been locked, right? And we actually have... Uh, this leads up to where that other... That great, like, rotted tree was. Or, we could just go this way. Actually, there's a few things that might be a little bit of an annoyance here, so this is probably not the fastest way. I really wish we could, like, store these souls in some type of, like, <laughs> safe area so we didn't have to carry them around, but... Oh, balls. We're attracting a seat. We're making a scene. Back. Holy hell. Get off of my shit. Okay, I should probably clear these guys out, too. Not gonna get us where we need to be exactly. But it's gonna get us a lot closer. Come on, big mama. Whoa! We definitely don't want to lose this ring for this. We most definitely do not. Look at these! They take forever to die down. Oh, she fucking got me! Better be careful here. Whoa. We are playing with fire here. Forget her. I'm so quickly get overwhelmed. No! Oh, we're in shit. We're actually gonna fucking die here. Fuck. Well, that's why we had the ring. In case we made stupid decisions like that, which was, that was a terrible decision. That was a terrible decision. Oh, I'm so disappointed that I did that. We should have just homeward boned out of there. Oh well. That'll teach me. Okay, let's go see where Irina is. 
Anybody on this side yet? I don't see her. Ah, oh, there you oh, are. Oh, he's feeling okay. I was thinking. Uh oh. You know I'm a petty thief. Well, perhaps I'll go on the prowl. Everyone's dead or hollowed away anyway, right? So I might as well fetch some weapons or treasure for you. Do it. Well, what do you say? Why not? Thank you. You will not be disappointed. Grey Rat the Thief. Grey Rat is how he says it. Well known name. Until I ended up rotting in a cell. I understand. <laughs> so that's cool. I guess if we talk to him from time to time, maybe he'll have found something for us. Um Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay, so she's not back here. She may be on the Ooh, other side. I would do it. Be safe. I'm holding off on drawing true strength, and I don't even know why. But somebody said something that is like, eh, you might not want to do that, and I'm like, well, I did. So, what are you going to do about it? <laughs> but we'll see. It does make sense, though, and, like, I realized this shortly after I did it. It does make sense to do it at higher levels where the cost for leveling up is a lot higher. Oh, Champion of Ash. Welcome back. I was not meant to be a firekeeper, but I am honored to serve you beside the bonfire. The gods are ever merciful. My gratitude lies with them and with you. I am yours now. Your wish is my command. Okay, so she teaches miracles. Okay. Return cast to the last bonfire. That's actually huge. That's like permanent homeward bones, no? Cure ailments for self and vicinity. Gradually restore HP. Restore HP for uh, for self and vicinity. Like these would be actually kind of nice to have. And something like this one where you can restore HP. It's not bad. Uh, for only 12 in faith. We're at 8. I don't know if it's worth investing in, like, diversifying like that. She also sells this ring, allowing attunement of additional spells. Okay. You know, in my home of Karim, I was a nun. I would be pleased to share the tales of miracles with you. Although, to be honest, I only know a few. But if I had a divine tome, I could tell you many tales and more. A divine tome. Oh, only I cannot see. Terribly sorry, but you'll have to find me a divine tome in Braille. Oh, that's specific. You know, in my eye would though to put if I... Oh, terribly sorry. Have a pleasant journey, Jeff. Okay, so, uh... This is kind of a tough call because if we go back there, presumably that's going to be some type of boss fight. And I'm worried that if it is a boss... Ah, good, what need? Okay, we can upgrade this with the shards that we have. Oh, that's not what we want. We want to upgrade this. We need scales. That's right. Um, we're about 8,000 off of the, of the key. And we're not getting a ton from just, like, killing these random guys here and there, so... I think we might just have to take the risk. It's too bad that I botched that last little area. Welcome home, speak that. Ashen one. So I Nothing new with her. Well, Ashen one. I think we'll try it. We'll go and see what lays out there. Um, maybe it's not a boss. Maybe it's just a new area. It would be very close to the previous boss, but I guess, who knows? Um... Dilapidated bridge... Yeah, I think that's the closest. Okay, we'll take a break. We'll see you guys back out there. Bye.